you walk in from the back gym and as you come through the curtain, it was just 40,000 screaming, screaming people. Goosebumps like you never had before. USA, USA. You know, you, I can still hear that sound. It was a packed house. Um, and just the adrenaline rush of knowing that this is the Olympic Games. We're here in America, our family members are here and we have a chance of making history. It's pretty remarkable. The Caroli system of getting your athletes to autopilot started then. First event, Uneva Bars, J.C. Phelps goes out and nails a bar routine. And I remember looking over at Amanda and it was just like, it's on, <laughs> it's on, let's go, we got this. We had done so many repetitions of the order we were going to compete in. The kids knew who they were coming after. They knew that when that one warmed up, they jumped here, got down over here, the next one went. And it was just like a, a rehearsed performance that just flowed, flowed, flowed. It was just one routine after another of everybody doing the best that they possibly could have done and sticking those landings and having great amplitude and good form and things like that. And, It's very different than what people see on television because when you're down in the pit, it's very hard to see what's going on. And, and so um, Dominic Mociano went Mr. First of All and it was kind of, wait, where is she? Why is she not standing up? It was like the shock of all times because that was not her autopilot. Her autopilot had been that she had always stood up. Definitely the butterflies in my belly started moving around a bit more, but I was confident in myself. I had two chances. and. I was pretty certain that you know, I was gonna land a terrific vault and that's all we probably needed. When I fell out my first vault, it was just like, this is a dream, this is ridiculous. When Carrie went down and then went back into the second vault, we had no idea where we stood. I mean, at that level you don't just walk away especially when it's a team competition and a gold medal's on the line of course i was worried and you know looking at bella like oh my gosh what do i do here um and you know he just kept saying you can do it and over the years it's kind of been a joke like that's all i could come up with you know like, he's the best gymnastics coach in the world and he said you can do it For me, I'm forever grateful. He always made us do a lot of vaults, and oftentimes I would question why. If I've done you know, eight really good ones, why do I have to do 10 or 15? And believe me, um, to this day, I'm very, very happy that when I was tired or something hurt or just felt like you know, I had done enough, why do I need to do more, that he pushed me past my comfort zone because that's what I needed.